All right, guys, we're going to try another upload with this. I have no idea if this is going to work because none of my uploads have been uploading for the last few days. Uh, if it does, we are going to switch over from using our typical uploading, and I'll go back to using the ones that give my intro and outro um, because this is not working. Um, but essentially, uh, this is going to be a test upload for one and it's also going to be a uh, upload basically in signifying what all I've had what not all I've had just a simple electrical issue that I've had with the truck and that's with the HVAC system this HVAC controller in the middle the one that controls temperature there's a blend door that's right behind the uh, glove compartment door that I just recently put back on um, primarily because the actual door has not been working technically uh, and what I mean by that is the door itself says uh, it has an error in it well if I if it initializes it'll work like once the door initializes you, you hear the door is going through all of their mode testing and the air changes and all that crap but what it doesn't do is it doesn't, you can't control the temperature. You can control all the other doors, but you can't, I can't control the actual temperature. Um, so I took the door off and I just basically controlled it by hand until I could either decide to pull the dash or whatever. And I was looking at the motor when I pulled it off one time and looked at it and it looked exactly like the one that came in the flood. So I took it and plugged in one that I know that wasn't in the flood, and it's been working ever since. Um, and I think I know why. Uh, and the reason for that is because when I actually put this crap together, um, what I did was is that I remembered that I changed the two the two doors that are right behind the uh, center stack. I changed those and didn't change any of the others. And the reason I did that was because those were the easy, hardest ones that would be to get to. So I didn't change those. Um, so, in all practice, oh yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. I like to try to keep it in auto, but I wasn't able to as it's foggy out and we need to have our lights on. Uh, it could tell when it's raining. <sighs> sorry guy i'm tired but it can tell when it's raining but it can't tell when it's foggy um but that's been working perfectly fine since then so i put the glove compartment back in and that was the one of the two electrical gremlins that i've had so i'm not too concerned with uh anything electrically failing in this truck um which is a big bold statement about a flooded vehicle right I'm uh, not really concerned about anything majorly electrical failing in the truck because of, you know, longevity. Um, other than some of the parts being used, but, you know, what can you do? Um, but if this uploads, we're going to basically switch over to doing our computer editing. Switch back to doing the one with the computer editing. And, um we'll do that if this uploads and then I'll do an actual proper video or a, a proper update um, tomorrow is the big day for me to call the inspection place to get an inspection scheduled and then after that will be the day I have to get it well some probably Wednesday because that's when I do all of them and I'll figure out what time I have to be there hopefully I can get a hold of them because it's only five miles from here to get there it's only th three miles if i take if i leave work and go straight there if i have a morning schedule it's only five miles i mean five miles from home three miles from work if i actually have to have a morning one um but if they because if they don't pick up i have to drive all the way to jackson which is 89 miles so he told me to call between eight and nine we're calling between 8 and 9. So, 
we're going to finish this test upload. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to hopefully go to sleep, wake up to an uploaded video, and then we'll go from there, guys. Peace.